What's greater than our financial problems? You know? What's greater than our health problems? What's greater than our fear to witness to other people about Jesus? Our faith should be greater. You know, was Abraham's, uh, you know, what was Abraham's faith directed in? As he wandered in the desert thousands of years ago. Well, what was his faith in? Well, in Hebrews 11, the great faith chapter we're in, starting two verses from where we're at, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith, he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with them of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Our faith should be in the heavenly city where we're going to spend eternity. And there is a place there for us. See, Jesus told us that there's a home for us in heaven. He explained that in the book of John. When he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also, and where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In verse 1 of John 14, he says, believe twice. Our belief in Jesus Christ. He talks about my Father's house, which is heaven. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Death and the Lord leads time. He 